today. That's what that former SWAT officer testified that that every day he regrets ever sending Dominique Bettis up that mountain. But if he had to do it again, he would because he says Bettis was one of his best officers. He was a dream officer. Today, retired Albuquerque SWAT officer James Fox described Dominique Bettis as a dependable, hardworking officer who made good decisions in stressful situations. Fox says Bettis was only following his orders when he went up the mountain. Can you tell this jury how it feels to be have to come testify in this case where um, one of your guys is on trial? Uh, horrible. I regret calling Officer Perez every single day. Fox testified that there was a plan, but he didn't know what that plan was, and neither did Bettis when he was sent up as a cover officer. If a cover officer sees an immediate deadly threat to the contact officer himself or a member of the community, he is to deploy deadly force. Fox testified that Bettis's past combat military experience allowed him to remain calm on the job. Bettis was deployed to Iraq twice and was injured so severely on his second tour that he was awarded the Purple Heart. Special Prosecutor Randy McGinn tried to use Bettis's military background against him. Is there a difference in the military use of force versus civilian use of force? Defense attorneys objected to the line of questioning and the state later rested its case. Now, as we mentioned, the judge threw out that voluntary manslaughter charge. Here's what that means. For Keith Sandy, the jury can either find him guilty of second-degree murder. If the jury doesn't think there's enough evidence for that, though, the charge instead, Sandy instead would be charged with aggravated battery. For Dominique Bettis, the jury can either find him guilty of second-degree murder or he would be acquitted of those charges. Reporting live at District Court, Sandra Ramirez, KOAT Action 7 News.